Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you some wonderful tricks and tips for Blender. I have wonderful 25 of them and let's go. The first thing I want to show you is the Node Wrangler, pretty common, uh, I think. It's a very practical thing because you can wonderfully press Ctrl and T and for example you get mapping and texture as well. You have a bunch of very useful stuff there. You can see that we can align nodes and everything. It's just saving some time because you don't have to put in a mapping and a texture coordinate every single time. And yeah, that thing is pretty useful. The second thing I want to show you is the wonderful add-on Real Snow. It's a very nice add-on that will let you create wonderful snow as it wonderfully suggests. And look at that we have there and we can generate some snow. We can here just create some coverage and the height. Let's see, let's make it 70% uh, and make it uh, just a little bit. And then we can add some wonderful snow and there we go. We have some snow. Look at that. And also something we can do is we can just... Let's wonderfully subdivide this thing here there we go we also can say if you only wanted to have like to be on a single face let's see and doing this one we have this one selected and then let's make it completely there we go we have now snow into that it's pretty nice and actually good looking but of course look at that it's a bunch of polys so it's you should probably not you know make so much of that for a large scale object just like for the background or something and for large scale stuff you should use something else i mean you always can just you know modify that thing but it's looking decent um for some stuff on top and it's looking actually pretty as the next one we have wonderfully a little feature that probably is pretty known because if you didn't know that you can actually just drag and drop any texture you want into blender and then you instantly have it as an image texture pretty easy but it sure is helpful something that's also pretty good is that you can actually drop in images into blender there we go, we have no little bobart there, which can be used as a reference image because they will wonderfully not show up in the wonderful render as you can see here. So it can be used as a reference. But of course, if you want to have a picture from your PC onto your wonderful thing in your wonderful scene and have it rendered, then you can wonderfully or enable a wonderful image as plain. So you can import a wonderful image. There we go, let's go, there we go, let's uh, go for this one, the one forward I made, and um, yeah, if you want to fully have that now, and let's see, in the render, it will appear in the render, look at that, uh, it's pretty nice and pretty good, something that also is, well, not so good as well, the starting position of everything in Blender, because normally it is pretty much uh, not as I want to use that, and I will show you a wonderful way uh, how you can change that, so you don't have to change it every single time, for example, I have it in cycles, I have a time limit of one minute, and my camera is in different position, and if I want to start every single time when I boot up Blender in this position, then I can do that wonderfully, the first thing of course you are making your scene how you want it to be in this case this one looks good and then we go to default and save it as a startup file and then you are done the next time you will open up blender it will start in the you know position you set it in also something that is now pretty new i think it came with update 3.0 is the wonderful render time uh which of course can be very good if you just want to quickly render something and uh you don't want so much detail you don't have to say yeah maybe like 30 samples or something that could maybe be a 10 seconds no this time you can actually just set it so in this case i have 4000 uh, and 100 samples around that um one minute frame limit uh, or time limit meaning it will render and until it reached one minute it doesn't matter how many samples it will reach it will stop at one minute so you can just put it whatever you want and if you put it on zero it will render until the max sample amount pretty useful and uh, i'm pretty grateful for that something that also is pretty nice is the wonderful merge by distance you press wonderful m for merge and then select by distance and then you can set out which are uh, which amount or in this case meters you want them to merge so you can clean up everything in this case you can see we go wonderfully a little bit higher and we can see them merging uh into one single thing and there we go we have reduced it by a bit i mean of course it's not the perfect <laughs> example but um yeah you can wonderfully merge them together so you have less and you can clean up better or you know fix some issues with your wonderful object Another thing that will probably save you a decent amount of time every single time you use it is the wonderful hotkey that is pretty common for the most used thing in Blender. It's a wonderful subdivision surface. So we can get that, uh, yeah, I wonderfully uh, 
I have a strange thing here, so let's just, uh, you know, just get ourselves a new cube, there we go. And the thing is, if you press Control plus any number, you will get a wonderful subdivision. So you get a wonderful one, we have one subdivision if you press Control. For example, five, we have five. And uh, yeah, you can just wonderfully, you know, save yourself two seconds every single time. Another thing that can be wonderful if you have too much polygons or... Yeah, one just didn't be gone is a wonderful decimate. In this case, we have uh, three different options. We have collapse, meaning it's going to collapse all the faces. Wonderful. We have planetary, it will be by angle. And of course, we have unsubdivide. And we can see if you just go down, we in, in the end have a cube. It will always make a uh, wonderfully. One thing that you have to watch out for is that you make it an even number because it's making wonderful triangles out of that. And, uh, you know, you want to have normal faces. So. Only must make it a wonderful even number, except you want triangles. I mean, whatever floats your boat, man. And look at that, we have a wonderful cube once again. Also, something that can be very helpful are HDR eyes, you know, wonderful things that, well, I can probably just show it you. You go into world, then you're gonna add a wonderful environment texture into that, and you say, wonderfully, I want an HDR. Now I just have to find some one. Is somewhere I think yeah this one is not <laughs> below but that was one was a wonderful correct ending and as you can see we have now in this case a wonderful yeah woods you know in the background which of course we will get the lighting from but of course we don't want to see that so we are just gonna disable it on the film and transparency and now we have the lighting from a wonderful wood and if you're wonderfully asking yourself well, where should I get these? Um, we can see 16,000, uh, even though I think it's auto differentiations, but of course it's a bunch of there on HDR Haven, no called Polyhaven. Also, I'm not uh, wonderfully sponsored by them, sadly not. And you can see there are a bunch of HDRIs. Every single one is free, meaning you don't have to pay for anything. You always can tip the wonderful creator, but of course everything here is free. Um, at least the HDRIs, so... That's wonderful, nice and dandy. Something that also is pretty nice are render farms. Of course, if you have a potato for a PC uh, or just, uh, you know, it's just too much or too long, then you can use wonderfully render farms. I just have here a bunch of them. Uh, I personally used a couple of them for my personal, you know, or university projects. Uh, I used, I have no idea which one I used, but of course, I think there was one which had actually a free trial, where, meaning you could use it for one whole day uh, without paying a cent, and then, you know, you have to pay if you want to but of course you just can make a new account but uh yeah i use that to let wonderful everything render and i think my whole project in a day uh my pc said yeah this will take around 47 hours to render and uh, the wonderful render farm did it in two hours so uh yeah render farms are a thing but of course you don't have to use them Something that's also pretty helpful is, of course, organizing your stuff. In this case, there are a bunch of different stuff. You can wonderfully give it a color or wonderfully just label that. There we go. That's a perfect name. But of course, in my eyes, the most important stuff and the most helpful one are groups. You can group your wonderfully notes together. So in this case, we can wonderfully group stuff to press out. Just press Control G, meaning we have now wonderfully some wonderful stuff here. We are now in the wonderful note group. And there we go. We have now this wonderful note group, meaning everything in here is now wonderfully in there. So you can wonderful name this one. For example, in this case, it's noise texture. So we can uh, name that thing. So we can name it noise. So we have now in that. And yeah, we can wonderfully... Just go in there and we can see a bunch of stuff in here. We had the input, meaning the stuff is coming in and stuff is coming out. And uh, it's pretty helpful if you if you want to ask me in organizing your wonderful node groups. And yeah, sometimes you just need more objects, more curves, more meshes, more everything. And you know, Blender has something there for you. And look at that. We have extra objects and meshes and curves. So, you know, just add them and then you can get, for example, a wonderful <laughs> hump, you know, there we go. Uh, or something else. Uh, let's see, a polygon app. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? So we have stuff like that. If you really want to use them, Sometimes you also want to rotate just something on multiple axes. In this case, we want to rotate it on the wonderful Z axis. So we're going to want to fully rotate it on the X axis and the wonderful Z. So we have now, 
if you hold shift, you can rotate on both. Also, I found a little bug there, meaning if you are on a crest uh, keyboard like I am, it will wonderfully change if you are, I want to choose the second one, you are getting the wrong one, meaning it will swap uh, Y and Z. But of course, you can wonderfully just make that, you know, let's wonderfully rotate it on the Y and on the X, so you can rotate it in two different two axes and it's it's pretty neat yeah do you know it's also is pretty helpful a bevel so we can go in here and bevel this whole thing or we can wonderfully go into edit mode and bevel only one thing so we, we can press ctrl b and wonderfully have our bevel but also what is very helpful is that you can have a bunch of stuff here a bunch of wonderful settings but the most uh, i use the most of the time is the custom thing look at that i also made something meaning you can customize your bevel however you want and please so uh yeah that's pretty nice look at that that's looking horrible but of course it is helpful also something that is pretty nice and helpful is of course the voxel remesh uh, i will use it on my wonderful bobat character i made from the amazing world of gumball so and this well actually will allow you to wonderfully create pixelated versions of them so we go into remesh and then we can see it's doing something very strange but of course we can go to blocks in this case we can wonderfully change how many blocks we want and look at that um it, it's m missing a leg due to the fact i think it was um actually an array there but uh we can see oh no it's actually morphing them together so we can see our wonderful bobat uh well wonderfully has been transformed into a pixelate mess um sadly you know we can see the wonderful textures uh don't go uh, up there so you probably have to make one whole texture for that but let's see we can also make the scale and change everything in here i think that's pretty nice but let's let's return to our wonderful bobat we all love and like Let's wonderfully stay with your bobbert. And yeah, sometimes you have some repetitive tasks that you just have to do the same thing over and over again. And there's a little help for that. So in this case, let's scale our wonderful. Let's scale uh wonderful or bobbert the hat a little bit. Let's scale it by something like this. We don't I don't actually have the you know put together version there, just have a bunch of single stuff. But of course, we can wonderfully repeat that and scale the hat by uh, the same amount, you know, 0.951. So let's do that. We press Shift and R and look at that every single time. It's getting by 0.951 bigger. And it's so big, it's actually uh, gone. <laughs> it's too big, I think. There we go. We have it here. Was there for a second, so let's go and uh, increase a wonderful end. Let's add two zeros. There we go. Let's also increase the clipping because it's just too big. And there we go. We have a massive bobot head. Also, something that can be very nice is the grease pencil line art. I actually made a video already about it, so maybe check that out. But of course, you can add a grease pencil and add a wonderful stroke. Let's move this thing out, and then we can add wonderful line art. In this case, let's go and use. A wonderful uh, cube. There we go. It's asking where we're gonna go for colors. Uh, we're gonna make it black. And look at that. We have now some line art, which can generate some very interesting stuff. But of course, you have to think about uh, some stuff. Uh, of course, it's only in the camera's point of view, which course will probably not make a difference. But of course, you can see it's only in the camera's view. But of course, if we change the camera, we can see it also is you know wonderfully going in. And change it depending on where the camera actually is so it's pretty nice you can of course change this however you like you can make it bigger we can make it you know all the bunch of different stuff it's very nice and useful for creating a different um, style and yeah one of my favorites is the wave modifier which of course can create fake waves so there we go we're gonna add some waves and look at that right now it's just it's going up and down but of course, we need some wonderful stuff that can go up and down. So let's subdivide a little bit and let's see how it's still looking there. Look at that. You can see already it's, you know, wriggling a lot. So we can, of course, always uh, wonderful change it for that. Let's go with the height. You know, how big it should go, how wide and everything. The motion should go up and down. Uh, you can make a bunch of stuff with that. Uh, for example, I made you know, an ocean you can do with that. I think the wave modifier, one of my earliest videos, is about a fake ocean. Oh, an ocean, uh, which can be done in a minute. Um, so maybe check that out. So, yeah, we can have a bunch of stuff. Look at that. It's a wonderful tool with I had a bunch of fun with. So, uh, yeah, try it out. It's fun. And yeah, while we watch this wonderful thing, 
do its thing. Um, there's something that I just recently found out that you actually can scale all your menus. So if you hold control and then the middle mouse button and move it up or down, you can wonderfully scale your menus to whichever size you want. Uh, you know, I never actually figured that out, but I recently read a Reddit post about that. So yeah. Yeah. Also something that can be very helpful if you want to make something realistic and the right size is that you actually can let Blender show you how big each face, how how big each face is. In this case, we can go in here and, well, in this case, the length, the angle, and everything in between. Um, you can see it's obviously 90 degree. What a surprise, and it's 2 meter wide. Well, of course, it's a cube. So in this case, if you move this one around, you can see it's changing here. And if you bevel this thing here, it will, of course, the angle will change. There we go. Let's see, there we go. It's changing this, guys. You have 15 degrees and everything. And look at that. Uh, this monstrosity <laughs> is here and yeah that was already uh, you know fact number 24 and of course best trick there is is to subscribe to my wonderful youtube channel i make wonderful normally around one minute content to show that you can make tutorials in a very short amount of time without having a million years of tutorial and the people are talking around all time doing nothing so yeah let's go and subscribe I hope you learned at least something in this video, so stay tuned for the next video, and I see you next time.